Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and my bathroom. So today I wanted to do a video on how to remove your makeup because I actually found this was a mistake that I used to have a lot back when I just started off with makeup and skincare. So I wanted to make a tutorial and just a quick guide for everyone who wants to know how to protect your skin after wearing makeup. I'm also going to show you guys some of my favorite products for removing makeup and just taking care of your skin in general. So this is kind of like a two in one, how to remove your makeup and skincare after makeup. First of all, we need to tie up our hair because while some beauty gurus, um, they have the magic power of cleaning their makeup with their hair and their face. I don't have that. I'm just not talented enough. So clip it back so you don't get messy, but you also do need to pull up your sleeves because it gets messy. <laughs> First thing you want to start off with is an oil-based cleanser and actually removing the makeup. So you have two options for this. First, you want to go in with either an actual makeup cleanser or you can just go in with a facial oil cleanser or oil balm, balm cleanser, etc. So you have a lot of choice there. I usually just go with cleansing oil and makeup cleansers don't really appeal to me that much because I usually take off my makeup in the shower so I can get messy and everywhere. It, I only use makeup remover and actual makeup remover when I go out and I come back after a night and I don't really want to shower. I just want to remove my makeup and do my skincare and go to sleep. So that's like the fast option. So for makeup removers, these are my favorites. This is actually a um, sample. This is from Longcom. This is by Facile, you can see I've used a lot of it. It's really, really good. Um, two others I love. One is the Bobbi Brown Makeup Melt and Cleanser. This is really good. You have to shake it up and it's just incredible. And so is the Urban Decay Meltdown. These are all great options. The second option, like I said earlier, you can use a skincare product. So you can use a balm or oil. And here are some of my recommendations and my favorites. First of all, this is a balm. This is the All Clean Balm by Hamish. Great one. You just scoop a little on your hands, melt it and put it all over your face. Works beautifully. And two oils I've been loving are first of all, the Colairs um, Gentle Black Deep Cleansing Oil. This one's really good. And my all time favorite from the drugstore is the Neutrogena Deep Clean. You can see there's barely any left. I only kept this so I can make a video with it. That's how good this is. I had to stop myself from using it lovely lovely cleanser really good and for today's video i'll be using an actual makeup cleanser so that's just because i'm not in the shower so let's get with that and i will choose the urban decay meltdown makeup remover this one is in a spritz so what you can do is use it almost as a setting spray but what i like to do is just put it in my hands so i get more control of how much i'm getting on me and also where i'm going to put it so i like to put it in my hands like so, you can see there is the cleanser on both and just rub it all over my face. I want to use massaging motions and not be too harsh, be very gentle around your face, especially your eyes. Okay, so now we're just going to get some oil and wash all this off. So now we are done with our first cleanse, we're going to go in with our double and second cleanse. I like to use just a pure cleanser for this and you have many options, you can either use a cream, a foam, gel or cream to foam etc. There's a lot of freedom. These are my favorite. This is from Claire's Rich Moist Foaming Cleanser. This one's really good and gentle but it is a foam and I tend to avoid this in the winter since my skin is very dry so I like to go in with more creamy gel ones and one of them, this is my favorite one. This is the one I'm currently using in my bathroom. You can see it's almost done. This is the Hamish All Clean Green Foam. Incredible. It's just so good and another one is the Make Prem Low Irritant mild foam cleanser this one's also a really really nice option really love this and these are just my favorites they're really really good just to get the gunk such as like the oils out of your skin not just the makeup so this is a really good second step i used a little bit too much you maybe need like um half of this uh but i wanted to use a little bit more just to show you guys the textures and what it looks like on the skin Look at that it's like this kind of jelly and what you want to do is first wet it with a little bit of water in your palms and then mush them together so you want to actually make the bubbles and make the foam and gel into this kind of creamy texture on your hands first before lathering it on your face because your face is dry so you want to get some water so it foams up and the effects are more clear so this is what it should look like I wanted to show you guys the full effects of this and 
that should be the perfect consistency and you can start lathering and putting it on your face around the one minute and two minute mark we are ready to wash all this off our face now we are done with our double cleanse you can see our face is now mostly makeup free except for maybe around the eyes we have some mascara or eyeliner smears and there's an easy fix for that i'm going to take some facial oil this is the b oil from the ordinary this one's a really great affordable option and it is packed with antioxidants and what i'm going to do is you can see i put a tiny strip on my hand i'll get a cotton tip roll up let it absorb on one side so this is the oil and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this along the lash line like so and this way I can get rid of all the stains of makeup, eyeliner, mascara and all that it just clears up all the gunk this is a great method and because it's a facial oil it's actually helping and boosting your antioxidants because your eyes are very sensitive you don't want to go too harsh with your fingers and your towels to go in there so Using something like this, an oil, just removes it so gently, like so. And you want to kind of comb up into your eyelashes because there may be some products and remnants there. So just combing it through like that, you're just thinning everything down and removing the makeup. And voila, we are done with removing our entire makeup. It is not possible to actually remove all of your makeup. And most people now, and what I used to do after this, is I usually get another toner exfoliator or like a facial pad and then rub it along my face. However, I found that to actually be more damaging than doing good because after removing my makeup, I've already cleansed twice, so my skin has already gone through some exfoliation. If I go in with another layer of exfoliation, it's just too much. And my skin barrier is very, very thin, so it easily breaks and just gets destroyed. So here, I would recommend you just stop there and put on a very simple routine. So next day, you can avoid the makeup and do a more thorough cleanse again. Just double cleansing truly already does amazing things. So I think we can stop here with our makeup removal and now focus on our skincare. First, I'm going to prep my skin with some lip balm. This is the Pawpaw ointment. This one's just really nice and affordable and there's a huge tube, so I'm focusing on using this. I have a lip balm on every occasion, um, every place in the house, um, in my handbag, in my work bag, in my bathroom, in my bedroom, on my bedside table, in the kitchen, everywhere. Um, and this one's my bathroom lip balm. Now we're going to start with our skincare and let's just first start with some primer because I can already feel my skin being quite tight and dry from the cleansing. So this is from Isn't Tree. This is the Green Tea Fresh Toner. This one's really, really good and definitely worth the hype. Again, tons of antioxidants packed in here. It smells a little bit like mugwort, like very herbal and medicinal. I quite like it though. I think it smells natural and I like the um, <laughs> green tea color to this as well. I've used quite a bit of this and after I let that sink in for a little bit more, I'm going to keep my routine very simple simply because I think less is more, especially after makeup. You want your skin to kind of just heal and take it all in. If you layer with like another 10 layers of skincare, it's not going to have breathing room. And also there's so much your skin can take in with skincare. The first layer, it might sink in like 50%, the second layer, 10%, then 2%. The more you layer, the less effective it is. So you want to keep it just short and to the point. Next, I'm going to go in with a quick ampoule. So an ampoule is like a lighter version of a serum, just more watery as you can see and easily absorbs into the skin. You want to apply your skincare in layers of thickness. So you want to start with the most watery and then the thickest. So toner is basically water. This one's a tad thicker, so I put this afterwards. This one is from Skin Angel, Skin 1004. This is the Madagascar Centella. Really good. Love Centella. Great ingredient. I'm just going to use one drop of four and spread it out. Tap it into my skin. The remaining on my arms, we don't want to waste any of that because that stuff is good. 
it's really good for just calming the skin down and I think that's why I need after rubbing it for um, a solid minute to remove makeup. Last but not least, you want to seal everything in with a moisturizer or a sleeping mask because it is nighttime right now which is why I have the crazy bathroom lighting and I look a bit strange. I usually go for a sleeping mask rather than a moisturizer because sleeping masks are a bit heavier and they're better at just locking everything in because I want my skin to recover and repair throughout the night. The two night masks that I've been loving lately, one is from Ayini. This is the Propolis Vitamin Sleeping Mask. Great for just restoring your skin barrier. Propolis is a great derivative from honey, so it's just really nourishing and soothing on the skin. And another one I've been loving is the Vitamin Amazing. Vitamin A, amazing. The Kujil Night Cream by Bywish Trend. And this is, again, just a really great um, night mask because Bacuccio is a plant substitute for retinol and because my age isn't quite there to use retinol actively in my routine, Bacuccio is a good alternative. It's milder, the effects are also milder, but it's a great starter for retinol and retinol is great for targeting you know, fine lines, wrinkles, etc. I know I'm a bit young for it, but I think, you know, good for early preparation. So this is great for all ages and it's just an amazing texture. I'm going to use some of this today. Just one pump, it is this light yellow texture and it's actually quite thin, I really like it. So I like to just spread it out again and palm my hands and tap it in. It has a very nice scent to it. Again, quite medicinal, but it also has some like floral scent. I really like the scent of it. Again, I just really like natural smelling skincare. I think, I feel like it's more good for my skin. So there's that, and again, the rest on my hands because hands are also very important. The appearance of your hand is so important because, you know, when you hug someone, shake someone's hand, you usually see their hands first, so keep them nice and tidy as well. And that is a wrap for my skincare routine and makeup removal. And I've loved sharing some of these recommendations with you guys. So I hope you guys try them out because these are all my absolute holy grails. Let me know if you want to see more about skincare such as my current skincare routine or if you want to see more things such as skincare recommendations. I'm down for that. I love skincare. I can never stop talking about it. And yeah, honestly, I hope this video was helpful and if you were thinking about how to remove your makeup after many years of attempts and bad makeup removal, I've definitely done my fair share of over exfoliation. That is a common mistake, but I found that it really just damaged my skin and this is what's been working really well for me. So check out some of these products, absolutely amazing and can't wait to see you guys for the next video. Bye everyone.